Hello, this is Dr. Oviedo. Today we are going to review atrial myxoma, rhabdomyoma, Kaposi sarcoma, and angiosarcoma. Case one is atrial myxoma. You can see this is a cardiac ultrasound. There's a very obvious large mass right here in the left atrium. This right here is a short pedicle which attaches the tumor to the atrial septum right here. For orientation, this is the mitral valve right here, this is the left ventricle, and this is the right ventricle. It can be difficult to orient yourself just from one image. In real life, you can scroll back and forth in order to make sure your orientation is correct. Let's go on to the gross picture. This is a gross picture of the tumor resection. You can see there is a very large tumor here, which has kind of a myxoid appearance. Myxoid is kind of a generic word that means like mucus or gelatinous. I think you can see it best kind of right here on the top right. It has a very gelatinous look to me. This area down here is the small portion of normal atrial septum, which was resected with the tumor in order to have clear margins so that the tumor will not recur. Let's go on to the histology. At this part, you can see the large tumor right here, and the atrial septum is this area right here. Let's take a closer look at the tumor. Here again, you can see the atrial septum on the left and the tumor on the right. These little clusters here, here, and here are all clusters of myxoma cells. In addition, there are also these spindled cells, which are single myxoma cells. If you cut a spindle cell, on the short axis, you can have a round appearance, such as, for example, right here. This is probably a myxoma cell that which has been cut on the short axis. So these are all myxoma cells. In addition, you have this kind of pale blue area surrounding the myxoma cells right here. That is what we call myxoid background. So these are myxoma cells in a myxoid background. This is, of course, myxoma. Let's go on to our next case. Case two is rhabdomyoma. This is obviously a gross picture of a heart with numerous rhabdomyomas. You can see a large one right here, which has been cut. There is another one right here. There's a small one right here. And then there's another one right here. Orientation of this heart is a bit difficult because of the way it was cut. Let's go on to the histologic section. For the histologic section on case two, you will have to copy paste the link which I've already done up here. In addition, you have to install Adobe Flash Player. In my instance, I was blocked and I'm gonna click right here and I'm gonna say manage. And then I'm gonna turn it on, allowing Adobe Flash Player to be installed. And then I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna click down here. And this time it allows me to look at the slide. You can see this is a whole mount section of the heart. This here is the ventricular wall, and there are numerous tumors. There's a large one right here, there's a smaller one right here, and a smaller one right here. Let's take a look at the larger tumor. At this power, you can see that the tumor is composed of these large cleared cells. In life, there would have been cytoplasm, but this cytoplasm obviously retracts during processing. You do sometimes see small little wisps of it, like right here and right here. This cell right here would be called a spider cell. This, of course, is rhabdomyoma. Let's go on to our next case. Case three is Kaposi sarcoma. You can see this is a photograph of a leg with numerous purple lesions. This is the appearance of Kaposi sarcoma. Let's go on to the histologic section. You can see this is a skin biopsy. There is a skin here and here. The Kaposi sarcoma is here, here, and here. And there's also some down here. I'm going to take a look at this area right here. At this power, you can see that the tumor is composed of spindled cells. For example, right here is a spindled cell. All of these cells are spindled. Even though some of them look round, that is because they were cut in the short axis. In addition, you have these slit-like spaces, for example, right here, which are filled with either red blood cells or red blood cell fragments. This is the appearance of Kaposi sarcoma. Let's go on to our next case. 
Case four is angiosarcoma in a patient who had been radiated for an oral squamous cell carcinoma, and this tumor is in the radiation field. You can see that there's skin up here at the top, and there's a very obvious large tumor right here. Let's take a closer look at the tumor. At this power, you can see this tumor is composed of highly atypical cells. For example, here is a round nucleus with a nucleolus. Here's a very large nucleus. And there are also kind of these darker nuclei. These are all atypical nuclei. In addition, you have these vascular spaces, which I'm going over with my cursor, which are definitely lined by these very atypical cells. These tumor cells are attempting to form abnormal vascular spaces. Obviously, these are not normal vascular spaces, but they help us determine the type of tumor, which is, of course, angiosarcoma. Okay, let's go on to our summary slides. Case one is atriomyxoma. Here is the cardiac ultrasound. Here is the atriomyxoma of the left atrium. This is the left ventricle. This is the right ventricle. And this is the right atrium. Here is our gross picture you can see the large gelatinous myxoma. Here is a portion of atrial wall which was removed with the tumor. And here on the right, you can see clusters and single myxoma cells in a myxoid background. Let's go on to case two. Case two is rhabdomyoma. Here is the gross picture which has numerous rhabdomyomas. Here's a very large one. Here's another one. Here's another one. And here's another small one. Here's the histology. You can see the rhabdomyoma is composed of these large cleared cells and there is a spider cell right here in the middle. Case three is Kaposi sarcoma in an HIV positive patient. Here's the gross picture which demonstrates numerous purple lesions on the legs. Even though this photograph only shows one leg, Kaposi sarcoma is generally symmetrical and you would also see these lesions on the other leg. This is a histology which demonstrates spindle cells with slit-like vascular spaces which have red blood cells and red blood cell fragments. Case four is angiosarcoma in a radiation field. This is a high power which demonstrates vascular spaces lined by malignant cells. Okay, that's it.